Alright, right, what's up guys, it is K.A. Sitter here, and I am bringing you with another video for you guys today. But before you say what I know you're going to say, because you probably already said it already, because the intro gave you time to do it, and you probably already disliked this video because of the title alone, and I hate when people do that, and that happens a lot. Yes, I know, HMK made a video similar to this a while back, like a couple months ago, but that was just about Kingdom Hearts in general. This one is going to be about Kingdom Hearts 3 misconceptions and I do not mean to rip him off in any way shape or form at all he's an awesome dude I do not want to do that to anyone because ripping off is an awful thing to do yes I know I have been accused of ripping off people in the past many times but I usually just deal with it but I have no intention to rip off anybody HMK is a cool dude so I'm guessing we'll be fine with it you know but yeah, I just want to say that before we get started. So if you have not guessed, I'm going to talk about my five main misconceptions that people have with Kingdom Hearts 3, because it really annoys me when people use these misconceptions and they just need to get it right, you know? So if you are confused about anything in this list and I've cleared some stuff up for you, so yay, I have achieved something. Um, and this list will be in no particular order either, because I'm just going to go over the five main ones. There's no like top list for it. So, no particular order, why don't we just get into it? So the first misconception that I see that I want to mention is, people are saying that the development of this game started in 2013. No, I know the trailer made it look like it started in 2013, like now in development, people thought, oh, it just started development, you know? Um, but no, it actually started development all the way back in 2010, so that means this game has been in development for over four years now. Um, I'm guessing they started right after Birth by Sleep. But the reason it's taking so long to develop is the team is working on many other games, like Dream Drop Distance, they were working on that. Um, 1.5, 2.5, and Tetsuya Nomura is really busy with Final Fantasy XV right now, so he can't put a lot of focus into Kingdom Hearts 3. So, this game has been in development for a very long time, it's just not a lot of focus was put into it. It actually started development in 2010. Another thing that really, really, really bugs me is placeholder dates, you know? Some people go into the comments saying, oh, on Amazon it said the release date is December 25th, 2015. Oh, that's when it's gonna be released. No! No, that does not mean a single goddamn thing, okay? So what sites like that do is they put a placeholder date. A placeholder date is a date to put on there, just to put on there, until the actual release date of the game is released. They do not know it any time in advance they figure it out as soon as we do so they just keep that there for placeholder reasons until the actual date is announced it does not mean anything regarding the actual release date of it i hate that people are saying that it has nothing to do with it okay so if you go on amazon and you see the release date is like december 25th and december 31st and the release date is not announced yet don't believe that then the next thing i want to talk about is with the first two trailers of kingdom hearts 3 where people are saying you know that is actual gameplay of the game i don't see this often but i do see it a little bit no that is not actual gameplay of the game that's something we call pre-rendered which that means that they go in and everything and make everything before it's like Let's like make it an anime movie and stuff that like animate everything frame by frame, you know, to make it look like actual gameplay. Because if you look at the angles that they get in that trailer, that obviously makes it look like that's not actual gameplay. That is pre-rendered made before, you know? So it's made to look like gameplay. That's what they want the gameplay to look like, but it's not actual gameplay itself. It's just for demonstration purposes, really. You know, I really hate that companies are really starting to use more pre-rendered stuff in their demos. Um, like, the year the game's gonna be released, they still use pre-rendered stuff, which I really, really hate that. I want to see what the actual game is going to look like. It is an engine. Yes, those trailers were an engine, but it's not actual gameplay. Alright, next is people are saying that this will be the last game in the Kingdom Hearts series. No. No, this will not be the last game in the Kingdom Hearts series. It will be the last game in the Xehanort Saga, yes, but not the last Kingdom Hearts game in general. They have said this multiple times that there will be more games beyond... Kingdom Hearts 3, like Kingdom Hearts 4, or whatever they're going to call it. Um, it will start a new saga, you know, um, I'm, I want them to make a new character for it, a new protagonist for it, I should probably make a separate video about how I want them to have a new protagonist in Kingdom Hearts 4, not just Sora again. But whatever the case may be, Kingdom Hearts 3 will not be the last Kingdom Hearts game. And lastly, people are saying that Sora will die in Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, this kind of, this, this one's kind of up in the air, um, I'm kind of confused about what they're saying here. But, they have said multiple times that Sora will be in future Kingdom Hearts games, if he's the protagonist or not, I don't know, which, again, don't want him to be, gotta make a separate video about that. But, 
They've said that he will be featured in more Kingdom Hearts games. Depends on how he's featured, though. Or maybe he'll be in Spirits. I don't know, but... For right now, it seems like Sora is not going to die in Kingdom Hearts 3. I think they kind of gave away a spoiler there, which I know they're kind of careful with that, which makes me kind of doubt this misconception that he will not die in Kingdom Hearts 3. It's kind of up in the air for me. But from what it seems like, he's not going to die. So that is my list of my five main misconceptions about Kingdom Hearts 3 that people have. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something from watching this video, hey, I accomplished something. So make sure to write down in the comments below some misconceptions that you see about Kingdom Hearts 3 on the internet that people use that were not featured in this list. Maybe I'll make another one. I don't know. But just make sure to write down in the comments below some other misconceptions that you see on the internet about Kingdom Hearts 3. Also, make sure to subscribe to become my Keyblade builder. My goal is to hit 2,000 subscribers. So if you want to help me raise that goal, make sure to subscribe. This has been K Central, your normal playthrough of Kingdom Hearts, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!